Greetings, First Presbyterian Church family. <laughs> this is Thursday Thoughts being recorded on Saturday. That kind of explains my week since I've been re since I have returned, and hard to believe that uh, a week ago today we're traveling um, back to Hickory from the beach, and the previous Saturday uh, we're just up at the mountain place. Uh, which you all, you also an earlier uh, Thursday thought you would have seen it expressed then. I'm here in Mesquite, and still not that presentable. <laughs> it's been a while, a couple of few days. Uh, so recording outside, I am off the of Newmarket at the park, and there's a disc uh, golf course here. Some of you may have known it. Some of you may have played it. Uh, and I have driven past this how many times over the past years that I have been here. And the first time I've actually just driven out and looked at it and seen it. And uh, makes me want to um, spend more time here. I've got to get back home. Uh, but just walk these paths, maybe when it's not this hot. And uh, the bridges and just the, um, this is just really pretty here. Very peaceful this Saturday morning. Still, still morning as I'm recording. And uh, kind of surprised by what I see. Really can't connect that with my thoughts, which are about disciples, because we're continuing that theme and reflecting on two, Andrew and Nathaniel. Andrew, uh, brother of Simon Peter, and he is known as the one who introduces. And there's a few episodes where he appears and he is introducing others to Jesus. And then he just kind of fades into that group of, of the twelve. A reminder of people that we encounter um, along the way that uh, I would say we have a brief encounter uh, and it might be a couple of encounters and then the chapter ends uh, but they've had some sort of meaning along the way and there are people we can reflect that maybe uh, you somebody was a Sunday school teacher one year and you kind of knew them then, but then like you moved or they moved or circumstances changed. You didn't see them that much, but it made an impact. Uh, it could be just somebody uh, you knew in school, um, people that we have encountered uh, along the way. Uh, it may have had them influential. You know, one lady talked about a great aunt that she had only seen maybe a half dozen times. Uh, I think knew of her, uh, and so heard some of the stories about her from other people. It was all good, uh, but talked about how that had impacted her, uh, the way her great aunt had approached life, what she had observed, and the stories that she heard. And a reminder, in terms of our faith walk, uh, it could be a particular Sunday school class, an encounter, how that's impacted. That's just a thought that I have and being thankful for the people uh, with whom we have our brief encounters but divine appointments. The other person to put out there is Nathaniel. His big piece uh, is in John, where they said, hey, we've met the Messiah. Uh, and like, I got, I had any good come out of Nazareth? Then Jesus encounters him and said, yeah, I remember, yeah, <laughs> I remember that comment you made. Uh, and it's like, oh my gosh, it really is. Uh, and I've laughed about that, especially since my trek um, to, to the Holy Land. And I've been to the modern-day Nazareth. Near there is a city of Sephoris, which you know, is just ruins, and they're doing excavations. That was the Roman administrative center. And for that area, Sephoris is what counted. That was the Roman administrative center. And some beautiful homes were there. Uh, I have to do a Wednesday Night Live class sometime on that and Caesar Maritima, which simply means Caesar City by the Sea. Uh, that was the important place, and Nazareth was a couple of miles away. And it believed that uh, Jesus, in his professional career as a carpenter, would have gone to Sephora to do some work. Uh, his father would have probably traveled over there. It could be a good day trip or go over, spend a couple of nights, and then come back. In that sense, Nazareth is sort of the city of the, or town, village of the Bumpkins. It's where the help lives. And uh, Sephora is the city that counts. And I've shared, I think, a little bit about that before. Uh, just that reminder of um, surprising places where we can encounter God and from where they come. And um, God can even use our doubts, our questions, 
uh, and use them for his glory. Just a few random thoughts to share on this Saturday and taking in a surprising, uh, yeah, the grass is really dry, y'all. Um, but even here, surprising beauty. Um, and I believe there's beauty wherever you, wherever you look for it, but um, very different from the beach. Uh, and even though I grew up going to the South Carolina beaches, for me, the beach is um, part of my past, part of my history. Uh, and then also the mountain place, a little small mountain range, Sorrowtown Mountains of North Carolina. Uh, and I've been going, I have memories back to when I was three uh, and Johnson was president uh, of going to that place. But uh, this is part of my present to ski. And uh, so we again, just encountering this very North Texas looking place. And, uh, and just the beautiful big sky. I mean, you gotta go to the beaches of North Carolina to find this much sky. You gotta look at the ocean to find it too. <laughs> Um, so it's really great to be here. Uh, I hope this guy does well. And this is some serious stuff. These, um, I've got a snoop.